I can't see shit out here. I can't see shit out here, but I can see enough to not drive off into the snowbank. There's a coyote struggling in the deep snow out here. He's quite a ways away, probably a hundred yards. I'm gonna see if, if he wants to come towards the road or what he's gonna do out here. Yeah, it looks like he's moving away from the road, unfortunately. Oh, he's hunting grouse out there. That's pretty cool. But the snow's so deep he can barely move. Hmm, I don't think this is gonna pan out for me. So I will keep moving along. Well, I was planning on going down that road. It appears to have uh, about three feet of drifted snow all over the road. And the snow plow is blocking the entire road. So I'll go back the way I came. Uh, I saw some bison. Unfortunately, they were too far away because it would be spectacular bison photography. Uh, it's just crazy blowing and drifting snow out here. Really nice snowstorm, and there's a little herd of maybe five or six bison out there. Uh, they're probably like 200 yards away, which is really too far away for photography. But um, I thought about it. If I had had my snowshoes, I'd probably walk out there and get closer to them and uh, make some photos because, you know, they're just totally packed with snow. You know, they kind of got the snow goggles on and it would be some really nice photos. But I didn't bring my snowshoes with me in the car today, which maybe is a blessing in disguise because tromping out into uh, 15 degrees and about a 30 mile an hour wind through five feet of snow, uh, probably wouldn't turn out very well for me. But seeing those bison uh, with the binoculars, man, it would it makes some really nice photographs. So uh, I'm not gonna do that today, but I will stop and uh, shoot a little video footage when I get back down here and show you what that looked like to show you uh, what could have been if I had brought my snowshoes and done something probably not very smart. But Anyway, back to the road, check on the bison, and then keep moving to see what else I might be able to find out there.
All right, here we go with those bison. They're a long ways away. Ooh, what good news. They're actually coming a little bit closer. Man, the wind is gnarly. Yeah, I think video is uh, the way to go here. Get a real good sense of the uh, blowing, drifting snow. These poor animals have to live in this all the time. The camera can't even focus on them anymore because they disappear amongst the snow. God, it would be great though if I was 100 yards out there. I could get some really killer photographs. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my people. Uh, this has turned into a bison shoot. So the bison have moved slightly closer to me here, which is great. The wind is just ripping. The snow is ripping across the flats, making it really difficult to focus. But it makes for really compelling video as these poor bison are just getting practically blown across the ground. Uh, and getting just the snow packed up all against him. But I'm making some decent long distance shots. So kind of environmental photos of the bison showing kind of their plight out here. They're this lonely herd of bison out in this gigantic field of nothing but white blowing snow. Uh, if they were to keep coming here, I've only got about an hour of daylight left. If they keep coming this direction, which they are very, very slowly, uh, I'd love to get some of those like intimate headshots of them just totally caked with snow. Uh, we'll see if that happens. My gut tells me they won't make it far enough for that to happen because they're trudging through a few feet of snow and uh, they're not in any hurry. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy what I have given to me right now with the bison and try and make some photos. Um, Again, I'm shooting at like plus, plus 2.3 on exposure compensation here to keep the snow very bright white. And I'm trying a mixture of shutter speeds. Uh, I'm trying some with a fast shutter speed, like over 500th of a second. Um, and then I'm trying some slower stuff, like as slow as 30th of a second to try and get some of that uh, kind of mistiness as that snow is blowing across the scene and kind of softening uh, trying to show that there's a lot of wind and uh, I'm not sure how well those are going to turn out in the final image but I'm shooting it both ways so I can um, decide when I get home which one kind of tells the story better that fast shutter speed that's freezing any kind of like blowing hair and blowing and drifting snow and then some slower stuff that might show a little bit of motion in that snow as it's blowing across. Uh, We'll see, but the video certainly is compelling because you can really see well the blowing and drifting snow and just how angry the weather is out there.
Well, sometimes you ask and you receive. The bison are coming right to me and it's freaking awesome. Man, it's just perfect. It's like a uh, winter scene out of the uh, out of the guidebook here. Really nice stuff. Oh, yes. What's up, buddy? Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's perfect. It's fantastic. Well, perfect's a stretch, but it's exactly what I was hoping for. They came close enough for full frame. Oh, it's just beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely. They came close enough for full frame, bison, snowy bison shots. And believe it or not, my hands are freezing cold. Just sitting here with the window open and it's now 12 degrees and really windy. And my hands are getting cold in the car. Those poor things are really cold. Or maybe not. They look like they should be cold. Whoo! Got lucky today. But not that kind of lucky, you perverts. too dark to photograph out here and it was just fantastic so sometimes the uh, the wildlife does exactly what you'd hope they do uh, and honestly if they would have come another 20 yards closer that would have been great but um, that was way better than I really realistically could have hoped uh, made some really nice images out there of these these bison in their winter uh, struggle out there for sure uh, way cool to watch, way cool to photograph. I hope it looks good on the video too. Uh, I had a blast out here. I, I love those kind of moments. Oh, what's up, buddy? Give me one last little pose before I leave here. Uh, that was a really excellent evening of photography out here with these bison, and I had a blast. So, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. That uh, actually helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps other people find my channel. And uh, I would really appreciate that. And also, please remember, I do year-round workshops out here in the Tetons. Uh, no matter what the weather is, sometimes you run into stuff like this and it's amazing. Uh, and so get in touch with me if you're interested in that. And uh, have a great night. Looks like that bison's laying down. Yep, he's had enough. He's going to snuggle up in the snow. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go home and snuggle up under a blankie and warm up. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you on the next one.
I will say this, I'm glad I'm not a bison. If I come back as a photographable wild animal in the Tetons, anybody want to take a guess what it would be? 